Hey everybody out there, Chris here, and welcome to another Avengers Log. Uh, i got a lot to talk about, uh, however, the stuff I want to talk about is also certain things that are in this box. So, before we actually get into any news or stuff like that, let's start off by doing a quickie unboxing of the stuff I'm getting from this week. Finally, the comics are back on time. First thing to note is I did read the comic books from last week. That review is going to be shot and probably uploaded Saturday when I used to upload my comic reviews. And these comics will probably be uploaded. I'll probably be doing my review on Sunday and they'll be up by Monday, the newer time that I upload um, comics. So, got a nice amount of stuff in here, some new stuff. This is a lot of bubble wrap. First off, I got myself one of these new tins. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh! Premium Collection. It's 14 um, holo cards. Um, it's from all the shows or something like that. I don't know. I saw somebody talking about doing an unboxing with like a huge pack of these. Uh, it looked a lot bigger on the screen, but anyway. Um, there's 14 cards. There'll be a video about this. Uh, my girlfriend Cindy did an untinning of this or an opening of this. It's on her side. I posted the link on the last Avengers log, so go back to that Avengers log and you'll get the link for hers. Um, mine will be soon. I don't, I'm not going to post the link to it because you guys are going to see it. You can get rid of this box. Okay, so let's get into the comic books I ordered for this week. Let's see if we get the packaging off because I've got to put this down. Uh, my invoice, which nobody needs to see. Uh, two papers this week. First one is of the sales from Midtown, which is eh. And then Dynamite Studios is doing something at Midtown, which is also something I really could care less about. Alright, so first off is my own guilty pleasure of continuing Action Comics. Uh, the next Amazing Spider Man 683. I finally got a printing, even though it's a second printing, of uh, Manhattan Project number one. JLI number 8, so JLI is sticking around for DC. Uh, Infestation 2, uh, One Shot 30 Days of Night. Uh, Hulk 50, I'm going to give the Red Hulk a chance with Hulk 50, there's a lot of guest stars in it. Hell Yeah number 2, Hawk and Dove, Mike's last issue of number 8, here you go. Uh, Green Arrow number 8, ironically right after it, Michael. Fairest number two, which is mine and my girlfriend when she gets down here to read uh, comic. Daredevil 10.1. It's good to have point one. I got the variant. I got the I'm with the Avengers variant for Avengers vs. X-Men number one. We're going to keep that on the side because we're going to talk about that in a minute. Animal Man number eight. Yes, Animal Man did stick with the DC comics that I'll be getting. The comic book news where they're talking about a whole bunch of stuff. Anything interesting? Anything worth talking about that they posted? No. Just a bunch of coming attractions which everybody already knows about. Wolverine and the X-Men Alpha Omega number 4 of 5. Wolverine and the X-Men number 8. We all know he's not going to stay in that wheelchair. Voltron Year 1 number 1 of I don't know how many. It's a mini series. Looking forward to reading this. Venom, Enter the Secret Avenger, Venom number 15. Swamp Thing number 8, of course you guys knew this had to make it to number 8. This number 8 from DC is a tester. If this book does not do good with this number 8, because I'm holding on to it because it's Red Lantern's number 8, it's a lantern book. If this book does not hold up in this number, if I am, if we are still in the same story, and we are still basically taking baby steps to continuing forward with the story, I'm going to be done with this book. I'm, I'm giving you guys fair warning of that now. And I have a feeling, I heard a few people talking about it already, not much has been resolved. Okay, with that news-wise, news-wise, Avengers, uh, Avenger cast, next week, I'm going to be sending messages out, and I'm sending a message out to all you guys. Anyone who is read or digitally downloaded or whatever with Avengers vs. X-Men number one the bulk, I don't want to say the whole, but the bulk of Avenger cast I would like to spend talking about issue one of Avengers vs. X-Men also issue zero and I did go out of my way and spend an extra 99 cents to get the digital 
downloaded on the strictly only digital uh, comic, the first ever Marvel Infinite comic of Avengers vs. X-Men. Uh, it's a Nova focus. It's Avengers vs. X-Men number one, Infinite. So it's basically a companion. It happens right before this book. Um, I didn't bother getting the X-Men variant because I really don't like Cyclops, so I didn't need the colored in version of Cyclops. We got the X-Men one. Instead of blue, it would be red. It would say, I'm with the X-Men. Cyclops would be colored in, and Cap would be black and white. Um, the regular cover was nice, too, but I, I figured I'd go with my team. I am the Dark Avenger, after all, so I figured I'd stick with my team. This book not only comes with a free code, which I can show you guys, because it's covered, a free digital download code in the back. But this book also is the first book to feature the AR function, which means any picture with the AR on it is, um, you can put your AR thing if you have the app, and you can watch little tidbits. It's throughout the book, little pieces here and there. So far I saw two, three, four, Let's see, any more? There should be more. I saw it. there's a fifth. The fifth. And that's it. Yeah, I see the fifth one. And that's where it's left. So there's five all together in this book to be continued in the next issue. Uh, unfortunately, I think because I got the variant cover, I will not have the AR um, of the cover, so I might, I'm not going to go out of my way to get Avengers vs. X-Men number one with the AR. Um, I'll try the AR scanner on this cover, but it's probably not going to work. It's not a big deal that I don't have the cover, whoop de doo I lose out on one AR scan thingy. Um, I might get it at another point in time, maybe, not sure. Uh, but yes, the bulk of the Avenger cast is going to be on Avengers vs. X-Men 1, 0, and Infinite number 1. Uh, I will talk about other... Th we will be talking about other things on Avenger cast. A lot's been going on in comics. But what everybody's talking about and what's on everybody else's mind is Avengers vs. X-Men. It's been huge. Uh, it definitely set Marvel on the top for um, the month of April, I believe, and the ending of March with Avengers vs. X-Men Zero early release dates and everything, this book is definitely a uh, sellout, or not a sellout because they made a lot of it, but it's selling pretty well. So um, that's going to be Avenger cast. The cuts have begun also for DC Comics. Um, I already dropped a few books from this week. I know I dropped a nice amount of books from next week, uh, and the cuts are just going to keep coming. If the story's taking too long to finish, or if I'm just skimming the book, um, for the sake of Marvel books and the new independent books. I am getting a lot of the new number ones. The Dread Guardians was one. Road Rage was the test and that made it to number two. Hell Yeah made it to number two. Uh, Manhattan Project is probably going to make it to issue two. Saga is making it to issue two, even though Saga kind of has a lot of explicit stuff going on in it, but the story is gripping. You look over those few pages of unneeded stuff and it's still got a feasible story. So, uh, yeah, I want to definitely talk about this. I want to talk about the AR. I want to talk about Marvel Infinite. So anybody who's interested who has Skype and would like to join the cast is welcome. If you are under the age of 18, though, however, uh, you must have parents' permission. And even then, it's kind of like this is going... I'm not saying we talk about adult content, but this is for people over the age of 18. Um, most of the people that have been on the Avenger cast were over the age of 18 or are known for uh, are known people and were there for Brooklyn Boys uh, podcast so we got to know you uh, just giving an example out there but you have to be over the age of 18 I think to be in the cast. Um, there might be special um, exemptions if you get parents permission but once again even then this is kind of an adult cast now, no offense to those of you who are younger than 18, but this is for more along the lines of, um, yeah, it's it's different when they're, you know, when you're younger, you know, we don't censor, there aren't that many censors when it comes to our podcast for any of you guys who've been watching, so I don't want uh, any younger people who are 
with us in the cast to I don't want any problems from parents or whatnot. So for those of you who are over the age of 18 and have not been in an adventure cast yet and did get this book and would like to discuss it, I would be more than happy um, to add you guys to the conversation. We don't want to max out the conversation though. I would say I don't want to have more than about nine, ten people and that's even a lot for the cast, uh, including myself and my brother. So really eight more other, eight other people. Um, the, I'm hoping to get my regular, the regular people from the cast back, which are everybody who's been on the cast since day one. So basically that's already four or five people. So I'm looking to maybe add three or four more people. So for those of you who are interested that got this book or read it digitally, you had to have read this book because this book I'm going to discuss in detail. Uh, this is for an Avenger vs. X-Men part of the podcast. I'm probably going to add these extra three people in after we have the regular cast to talk about Avengers vs. X-Men specifically. So you'll be added in probably at the excerpt where we start talking. It'll probably be the whole ending of the Avenger cast talking about this. So if you're interested in talking about Avengers vs. X-Men, send me a message. Um, if it's maxed out, I'll say maybe next time. But this is going to be on everybody's mind for the next for the next half a year, because it's six months worth of Avengers vs. X-Men. So for a half a year, this is what everybody's going to be talking about. And I'm sure each month there's going to be something that happens that people are going to be, like, talking about. So I would like to definitely uh, take time out of the Avenger cast to do that. Uh, I'll be sending personal messages out to everybody who's been on the cast and people who I'd like to put on the cast. Uh, so that's why I'm saying the slots are open for now, but if I get yeses from the people that I want on the cast to talk about Avengers vs. X-Men... Uh, the cast will be closed. So hopefully I'll get the people I want on there. If you read Avengers vs. X-Men and you have like something you'd like to say about Avengers vs. X-Men, if I can't put you on the cast, I'll um, mention something. If you want to give me something that you said and I'll like put it in a bullet or something and I'll read it during the cast and then the guys uh, that are on the cast, could, we could discuss that. Uh, that's different. If you have just something you'd like to say about Avengers vs. X-Men, feel free to message it to me and just in the title say... Um, Statement for Avenger Cast. I forgot what number it is, but statement for AVX Avenger Cast. And I'll mention that statement uh, as long as it's not completely retarded because I know some trolls will say something stupid and uh, that's going to be deleted. But if it's a legitimate statement or question about it, uh, like our point of views or whatnot, then by all means send it. Just send it with that title and um, I'll um, read it off during the cast. If not, then we'll just uh, run the cast. Uh, as normal, same as usual, with probably a couple of new people. Um, it's been a hell of a week. I finally got some time off, so that's why I'm saying I'll be able to catch up not only on the comics, but on the other stuff I want to review. I'm probably going to do a, a, a straight review of everything and then upload it at a slow pace because I know people get really upset when, like, four million videos go up at once, and I don't want to do that anyway. I like to have space between my videos so I have something to upload. So I'll be doing um, uploads all throughout spring break. Hopefully I'll be getting a few th little extra things for spring break. Uh, a few extra videos here and there. This is definitely going to be one of the ones from for this weekend. I'm actually looking forward to this because uh, Cindy got a lot of nice cards. I'm hoping I get a few that are the same and a few that are different. So this way when she comes, when she moves down here this summer we'll um, trade off. Because me and her are both starting uh, Yu-Gi-Oh decks. A uh, statement that was put on the Poke one of the Pokemon card openings, uh, one of mine, um, people are already starting hierarchies between Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic and Pokemon. Let me explain something to you guys. First of all, all this stuff is extra. I've been working extra hours. I'm getting extra hours permanent very soon. So I have the little bit of extra money to spend on extras. Examples, the hero clicks, the cards, and the figures. Uh, but my... Uh, point is with the cards, uh, I'm not looking, I'm going to, as of this moment, not deal with any kind of hierarchy between cards. Uh, it was one of the Pokemon untinnings, one guy said um, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic are a lot better than Pokemon. And then one of my, uh, then another person said, no Pokemon rock, you're wrong. And, and it started a whole debate, thank God I commented third. And the debate kind of like faded out. Listen. As I said, I play Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to play Magic, but now I collect for the, strictly for the artwork and 
I, you gotta admit, guys, the magic cards are beautifully drawn. Pokemon are from my teenage years, my childhood, so they have sentimental value, and they're still pretty cool also. Um, will I go out of my way to buy Pokemon over Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic? Probably not, but Michael does like Pokemon, so that's why Michael's doing the Pokemon cards, and I'm sticking to Yu-Gi-Oh!, which is a card game I actually play, and when Cindy comes down here, I know I'm going to be playing a lot more of, and the Magic cards I love because of the art, the artwork in Magic cards are amazing. First of all, Magic cards are more for adults. Yu-Gi-Oh! is more for the teenage and young adults, and I've seen adults playing Yu-Gi-Oh! too. Pokemon is mostly for younger teenagers or collectors. There are older people that collect too, but I've noticed when it comes to cards mostly uh, the older generation falls for magic. You know, if you want to put any kind of age on uh, who opens what or who collects what, uh, a lot of people when it comes to adults play magic uh, as opposed to Pokemon, but then again, Pokemon was popular, it lost popularity, now it's gaining popularity again ever since Black and White came out. So, um, you know, all different, all people have their own opinions, and all different ages play all different card games. Uh, personally, the only card game I play out of the three is, Mad is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like I said, I used to play Magic, but like Pokemon, Magic involves you having to have X amount of land cards, and I don't like that. I like a straight-up card game where it's like no land cards, no energy cards attached, just throw the monster out or the trap out and whatever. Uh, did I play all three card games? Absolutely. I love playing all three. Would I play all three again? Probably not. I would Definitely I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! again, but I'm not playing Pokemon, and I'm not really into Magic too much when it comes to playing. I'm more of a collector. I've always been more of a collector than a player. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The only reason I started playing was because my friends got me into it back in high school and it just stuck all the way through. And that seems to be like the default card game for a lot of people. Even uh, our friend, our bro Cody, uh, plays Yu-Gi-Oh! His entire site's now um, dedicated to deck building and Yu-Gi-Oh! cards and stuff like that. So, once again, there's an example of, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! just always ends up being like the default card game for a lot of people. Pokemon is more of a collector sport, and same thing with Magic, mostly. Magic, I do see a lot of people, there's a tournament for Magic that happens in Hawaii, uh, so Magic is more talked about as far as playing and as far as serious tournaments. Same thing with Hero Clicks, there's serious tournaments for Hero Clicks. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, sort of, their tournaments aren't spoken of as much as Magic, especially with the Hawaii thing. I'd love to go to that, uh, just, just for the Hawaii trip alone, I'd like to go play Magic again. But uh, please, guys, don't do any kind of hierarchy when it comes to the cards. They're all even in my eyes, to be honest. I'm really just collecting them all. And the only person I'm really going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! with is um, Cindy. And I talked to Cody about doing a, a match over Skype at some point. But there's really no need for any kind of hierarchy. Because everybody likes different things. One person loves Pokemon. One person loves Yu-Gi-Oh! One person loves Magic. I personally have played and I enjoy all three. So... If you want me to speak a hierarchy of any of them, there is no hierarchy. They're all awesome in their own uh, personal ways. Comic book wise, as I said, DC is getting lots of cuts. There's some new stuff coming out for DC. Looking forward to Smallville. Maybe one or two of the new six. I'm very, I'm sure Mike's upset about losing one of his books with the elimination. Now that we're up to eight, um, Marvel's going pretty strong, and the independents have. You know, all the number ones I've read thus far, I haven't read the Dread Wardians completely yet, but all the number ones I've read up to this point are really, really good. I am ecstatic. I cannot wait to read, um, where is it? Here we go. I cannot read, wait to read Manhattan Project number one. I feel bad that I kind of lost out on um, the um, first printing, but I'm looking forward to reading... Um, this, I don't care, first or second printing. It has Jonathan Hickman. There's another Jonathan Hickman book or somebody... No, it is Jonathan Hickman who does Secret. Uh, there's also another book called Secret Order. I didn't get it yet. That's gonna. I'm going to order that next week with my other comics. There's a lot of number ones, and a lot of them are coming from Image, and a couple of them are coming from, uh, I believe, IDW. No, most of them are Image. Is Hell Yeah Image? Yeah, I think Hell Yeah is Image. Um, I believe Hell Yeah is yeah, Hell Yeah's Image. So a lot of number ones are coming out of Image, and they're 
pretty darn good so far. And then there's also the Voltron miniseries. A lot of good stuff coming out. So uh, I'm not dealing with skimming books anymore. From now on, if a book just dies, it dies. And I'm not even going to... Um, you're just going to see it's going to just disappear from the reviews. And it's not because I hate the book. It's because it's good. I mean, I obviously, since I was buying it, I was enjoying it. But the problem is, if I'm starting to skim a book and I'm not really caring about detail or whatnot or it goes up to $3.99 for no good reason and it's the last place, for example, the De Detective Comics, I'm just going to drop it. I'm just going to let it go, and if a good story comes back again, I'll buy it again. But there were certain books that I was just buying and skimming, and really nobody's talking about these books, most of them. Some of them people are talking about, but they're just not holding me. They're not keeping me like completely focused, because let's, let me tell you something. You see this? Does this have your eye? Yes, it has my eye. Uh, let's put it up next to, for example, right now, this. Which book do you guys think I'm going to read first? Honestly. That's why books that I'm not, that I'm putting at the bottom of a pile and knowing that I'm just going to, like, maybe three hours before a review look through and yeah, I'm going to read it, but there are going to be like little things here and there that I'm going to skip over and it's going to end up like just like, okay, I'm reading it just because I've been reading it. And yeah, I'm just going to, that's it, the end. I'm not going to, um, it's wasting money because already I, I dropped, I believe, three books from last week, from, from next week's pile. And that's two, four, six, that's about, let's say, anywhere from six to ten dollars uh, that I saved right there. So... You know, you got to cut corners, especially in times like these where, you know, comic books aren't cheap anymore. And there's a lot coming out from both companies. Um, and independents now are jumping into the race. So, yeah, so I touched down everything, I believe, right? Yep. Oh, and next week, uh, Season 1 of Daredevil's coming out. Daredevil Season 1. And uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Collection Volume 2 is also coming out on Midtown on Wednesday. But when I ordered my book, I ordered it from Amazon, and Amazon claims it's coming out Saturday, but it's cheaper on Amazon. So if you guys order it on Amazon, it's going to come out on Saturday. If you order from Midtown, it comes out with your comics on Wednesday, but you're paying. On Midtown, it's, I believe, almost 60 On Amazon, when I bought it, it was 30 No, then that's not right. I believe I'm, no, it was about $50, $60 on Midtown. Whatever, you guys can go on and do your own price comparison. I paid $6 more to get Daredevil Season 1 before the end of the month. On Amazon, they charge $15, but you got to wait till the last week of the month. Forget it for six, for about 4 or $5, maybe 6 I think it was 5 I just threw it in with my comic books. I'm not getting that many next week anyway. It's still a nice amount. So, guys, with that, that was the uh, unboxing and Avengers log. I bullshitted about stuff for a while. If those of you who are still watching this video up to this point, thank you for watching. Uh, look forward to seeing this probably in between the comics from last week and the comics for this week. And uh, I don't know when Mike's going to be getting new Pokemon. Next week, I believe the Galactic Guardians uh, brick is being released, so I'll be getting that soon, and I'm looking forward to getting that. Uh, the Avengers... Single box boosters are coming out on the 18th. I don't know at this time if I'll be getting them or not. It depends on money and where I'm going with comic books and everything else. Um, take care, everybody. If you're interested in the cast or just making a statement for the cast, feel free to message me. If it's a troll statement, understand it will be deleted and not even mentioned on the cast. And, uh, yeah. So, guys, hope you're having a great week. Uh, I'm happy I'm finally on vacation, first day of vacation, and I feel already relaxed. Um, so there will be a lot of videos that I'm shooting during spring break. Don't know if I'm going to be uploading them all at once. So I'm letting you guys know that off the bat. I'm probably going to do all the figures at once and then upload maybe one a week for the next two, four, six, maybe eight weeks. <laughs> so there'll be one figure review a week. Comic reviews will be back on time. Thank you, God. Avenger cast will be during spring break weekend. Uh, there will be another, um, Comic Corner, hopefully it'll be on X-Men Season 1. I've been reading that non-stop, so it'll be on that. Uh, Daredevil will follow probably right behind. Or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimate Collection Volume 2 will follow close behind. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot coming out. I can't wait for the stuff that's coming out in the summer. I can't wait to finish to read the first issue of Avengers vs. X-Men. 
I want to talk to a few people about it and see if they'll actually come on a ca the cast and discuss it. And that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Nothing signed yet. Um, and yeah, so guys, any number ones that you're looking forward to that are yeah, have yet to come out, uh, leave a comment below. I'll check them out as they come out. I am grabbing certain things here and there that I normally wouldn't, but that's only because I'm dropping a lot of DC. Uh, and also they're two ninety nine, And yeah. Alright guys, take care. Have a great week. I hope you had a great week. And I'll see you on the weekend with more videos. Keep reading and keep collecting. See you guys soon.